Hello everyone, Mr. Sorkin here, and it's a really dark age. The age of calamity is almost upon us. So in today's, we we'll take a look at Evil Link. Yes, everyone, that was my long winded way of saying like, hey, okay. So let's play Dark Link. And also, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity releases on the 20th of this month. I will unfortunately not be taking a look at it because of circumstances. I'm going to be taking a look at, um, I decided to, what no, new November game, there were several new games coming out in November. Which one I want to spend my time doing a walkthrough on, and I was like, of course I'm doing Melody Memories. Are you kidding me? That was like a given. Of course I'm going to do that. I mean, come on. A lot of people are going to be like, we're going to do Age of Calamity. It's like, okay, but I'm doing, an, I'm doing a rhythm game, which doesn't fit me whatsoever. But it's a Kingdom Hearts game. I kind of, I love a Kingdom Hearts game. So probably he's looking forward to that. Um, I'm actually I haven't really played much of Link um, Breath of the Wild. I grew in that with my not really completing the game. Being like I'm gonna live stream it and hopefully it works out for me. I don't know much about Legend of Zelda. It's not my forte, you know. But I, I can appreciate a game like it. I really can. The birds are chirping. Birds and the bees and the bumblebees. Bikini! Oh, hey, Bikini! That's really nice to get. You're saying no one's been able to find you in the Crown Tundra for some reason. It's it's really odd. Oh, Scizor. Ow. Go. Go, my face invader. It doesn't really work in a stage like this. Anyway, I don't know much about um, the Calamity and stuff like that. I do know um, we are getting a sequel to Breath of the Wild, um, which I think... Okay, let me be realistic here. If I think we had E3 this year, like, I really do think we did have E3 this year, we would have gotten, like, a projected release date for Breath of the Wild 2. And we would have gotten, um... We would have gotten that. We would have also gotten a... a not only in a projected release date, now it's gonna be sun death. Not only will we have gotten a projected release date, but we probably also have the reveal of the um, Age of Calamity would have been... Would have been beforehand, so it's like, oh, well, Age of Calamity is also... going to be revealed at E3. I think that was the plan, and then they'd be revealing Steve and the next character in Smash. That was my E3 predictions, by the way. Um, also, I'm predicting next E3 we're gonna get, um, not necessarily the next E3, I think next Pokemon Day, if this whole COVID thing has finally died out. I think we're gonna get a reveal of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, which I would be like, yes! I really hope so. Because I love Diamond and Pearl. That was my favorite Pokemon game growing up, it was just like, ah, oh, I love it. So much, and it's like, wow. Okay. Um, not saying these orange is bad, it's just, it was interesting. Wow. Anyway, um, hello. What else has been hap gonna happen, I think, next year? Um... Ah, Nintendogs. I freaking hate this, this trophy. I really do, because it makes everything harder to see. I was just clicking buttons and being like, okay, things are gonna happen. Do not get the Pokeball. You got the Pokeball, did I? I think I did. Oh. Ow. Oh crap, I'm gonna miss. That's the Breath of the Wild, though. Um, 
yeah, that was my E3 predictions. Um. So, yeah. I also love the hook ability. I wish I could pull it off. Aw, oh, Chespin. You tried. Good job, Zero. Come on. Once you get you up there, Link. Um, yeah, um, I'm even curious what people think of the Age of Calamity. Um, I'm kind of curious how people are going to take it. Because I don't know if it's going to be critically acclaimed or not. I haven't played the first Hyrule Warriors. The only um, Warriors game I played is Fire Emblem Warriors. I thought that was great. A lot of people were like, oh, it's not just Hyrule Warriors. Like, I thought Fire Emblem was great because I just, I knew all the characters. I don't know much about Legend of Zelda, so it's just like, oh, I fought 500 battles. That's good to know on our 200th video for Smash Brothers. We've done 500 battles. That is, that's impressive. We're going to do one more fight and then we're going to end the part because it makes sense. Where be Ganondorf? Watch him just missing him. It's like, there he is, by Young Link. I'm actually kind of curious, Ganondorf, do you have any unique costumes? No, I can notice, it's just palace costumes. I could be wrong, you'd be like, that's actually a reference to this costume. Like, I, I couldn't tell you. Three, two, I should have Dark Link one, in, um... Go! October. But, um... I think, um, sorry, next year I'm going to invite my friend to do some videos like, hey, let's do these echo fights I've been wanting to do because I've always wanted to do the echo fights. I've wanted to do them since, um, Hero Release, but we just never had time. Richter and Simon was meant to be the first one in October of that year. So just to illustrate, like... How far we are, it's like, yeah, that was my plan. You set on the mind, Gandalf, you dead. Okay, I blew my own bomb. Get a Pokeball. And you got Kyrim, okay. Oh, we didn't get to do what my, my ultimate drill attack where it kind of drills into him. Go! Fletchling! I like Fletchling. Fletchling was my one of my favorite Kalos Pokemon. Yeah. He was my he was my favorite Pokemon in that region. Ow. I screwed up. I find it funny if I didn't die whatsoever in this fight. I really would. Ow. Starfy! Yay, carry of the sea. shall suffer my fire inferno. That's how you lose. Well, we saw one. Yahoo! Yes, we did.
Oh, I like that shadowy shot there. That was great. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more Super Smash Brothers content. We have more filled up for the month, mainly just filler. But I hope you guys enjoy it because you guys are well awesome. Tell then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good. And remember to stay safe. Bye bye.